Hello Aquarius and welcome to your committed reading for April 2023. Aquarius, this is a general reading and won't resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there's more clarity or guidance or information in those for you. And also, um, if you have, you know, if you want a personal reading, it's all in the, in the description below. Aquarius, um, Welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. I want to take a second to thank all the new subscribers because you all are just, um, you're rocking this little channel. It's a small channel and it's growing and I thank you all for it. So thank you very much for being here and showing up for me. Um, our, okay, this side is you, this side is your partner. Sometimes there's blurred lines because I'm reading for, you know, the, the, the energy is a collective. Um, if you have more than one partner, you will have to discern who this is for. So we are going to start out with your overall energy card for the reading. It's transformation. Um, this is growth. This is change. This is letting go of what doesn't serve you. This is, you know, from these cards over here, I feel like... Um, when I see the transformation card... I think of the caterpillar and I think of the chrysalis and I think of the caterpillar going in the chrysalis like do 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 I'm a caterpillar and then what happens in that chrysalis the ooey gooey the total uh, change into a butterfly and you know the ooey gooey parts not easy you know it has to be a hard a hard thing to go through a rebirth almost and I feel like that's kind of where you're at in this relationship I feel that you all have been through the ringer I think you've been through a lot and you know it has transformed you all into the people you are now you have motivation and freedom for these two cards um, and I don't believe this is motivation to be free of each other. I think this is motivation of freedom of whatever burden it was that was holding you down. It could have been some type of uh, addiction or it could have been some type of, um, you know, somebody not being truthful or honest. But there's some type of freedom from uh, something that was plaguing you all or that was holding you all back. Um, and it gives you the motivation to move forward. It gives you uh, a new clarity or a new insight into your relationship. You have confusion, wild card, and caution. And I feel with all three of these cards is that either you don't know what to expect out of the relationship you don't know what to expect from your partner or your partner doesn't know what to expect from you it could be you know the blurred lines the misunderstandings that i don't know which way to take you i don't know how you're going to react i don't know what mood you're going to be in i don't know if you're going to go off and go you know i'm treading on eggshells is what i feel walking on eggshells Treading carefully, treading lightly. Maybe that you all, whatever it is you've been through, maybe the motivation for freedom is just to kind of see where it's going. That could be the transformational energy. You all could be, again, coming out of that ooey gooey to this new freedom, seeing where it leads you or seeing where this is going to go. You have the Seven of Wands and the King of Pentacles. And I feel, Aquarius, that you're holding your own. You're, you're, you're setting your boundaries. You're, you're setting the limits with the Seven of Wands showing up right away. And it's like you are no nonsense. Um, you could be, you know, having them get more money or having them work harder or um, holding them accountable for their spending even. But you are definitely, uh, with the Seven of Wands energy, you're setting boundaries. You're setting uh, limits. It's like, this is how it's going to be. 
Um, you could be in charge of the money. You could be, you know, if they work and maybe they can't handle money. Maybe they mismanage money. Maybe they, they're not paying their share of it. Maybe they're not paying their bills. Maybe they can't be trusted. I don't know. But it's this um, where you're holding on to and it's like, okay, I'll, you know, we're going to see because you have temperance here. It's like we're going to see how this plays out. Um, you have hope, but you know that um, tipping the scales one way or another is, you know, can be not good for your partner. Four Swords, again, is kind of wait and see. Not, um, not harping on something. Not... Um, not being down someone's back the whole time. You know, it's like, okay, this is what it's going to do. This is how we're going to play this out. You all agree. And then you let it go. And you see how it, how it plays out. It's like you're not mothering them or fathering them. You know what I mean? Ace of Cups, you love this person. You want to start new. You want to start fresh. You want to have a new beginning with this person. You see potential in this person. And your person... You know, I, I just feel that... These are so, like, um, bipolar is the first word that comes to mind, so I'm, I'm just going to put it out there, and I'm not calling or saying anybody's anything, but it's just with this, these these two cards is just what I feel. Um, you have the victory card in three of wands. It's like they feel that very much that they are in charge of a situation, or they're, they're victorious over it, or they're overcoming something, and they can move forward, and they know already which direction they want to go in. Um, I think they're just waiting for something. They're waiting for a release. They're waiting for paper to come in. They're waiting for a nod, a go-ahead. But then on the opposite side, I feel that they don't feel worthy. They don't feel uh, justified. They don't feel like um, it's, uh, it's maybe the right timing for them. Maybe they don't feel like they're ready. Maybe they don't feel like they're ready to make decisions for themselves. Maybe they don't feel there's a confusion here. There's, there's too much... Too much going on. Too confusing energies. Um, what if I make the wrong choice? What if I make the wrong... What if I pick the wrong thing? What if I, you know... What if I slip up the first time? What if I... There's such a darkness and light here. There's such a... Um, again, the bipolar is the first thing that came to mind because of the total split in the cards. It's like, yes, I got this. Yes, I'm doing this. It's like, oh, what are you doing? You're not ready. And I know that's not bipolar, but it's just, that's what came to mind. It's the ego. It's the, um, you know, counseling comes to mind, too, with this energy. Therapy. Subconscious energy is a page of pentacles. Um, there could be a child involved. You all could have a child together. That could be maybe why you're holding on tighter than you maybe would if you weren't with a child involved. Um, there can be also, there could be some type of message coming in about finances or about some type of state stability that you all are looking for. Maybe a house or maybe a, um, an income of some sort. Because you have the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, you know. But it, I feel, too, like every time you have, you get your heart broke every time or you get hurt every time. It's like they promise you things and they don't deliver. So it can be with the Page of Pentacles, again, small steps, baby steps, moving forward. Um, you know, maybe, maybe your partner proving that they can handle money. Uh, little things at a time. And again, the only reason I say it is because of this caution and this uh, confusion. And um, I just feel like one day they're this and the other day they're this. And I just feel like you're walking on eggshells. And then again, how the, 
the cards lined up. It's like they have days where they're like, yes, they're on it. And then they have days where they're second guess themselves and doubt themselves. And there's days that they're, they're just, they can't. And you have the patience. You're, you have so much patience with this person. Uh, I think you all have been through a lot together, but I think there's a lot of unknowns and a lot of, um, you know, them proving themselves, maybe even energy. So what were these cards? Freedom and motivation. Freedom could be from their, you know, mental, uh, from, from themselves, you know, to be free of that, uh, men mental instability of their own thoughts. Again, motivation could be child. It could be just an up and coming, um, baby step like a payments due will they make it or they need to do something uh, go to a job interview will they make it will they do it will they will they walk the talk and I just feel excuse me you've done everything you can do and you can't you can't hold their hand the whole time you have to see what they're going to do they have to make they have to forge their own course they have to um, they have to show you. All right. Let's pull some oracles for you guys, Aquarius. Sacral chakra. Throat chakra. Look at this. Holiday. Hero and air. Air is you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, definitely. For sure. All right, so we have, again, the emotions, our sac sacral chakra, our second chakra, our dreams and desires, which we want to create, which we want to be. Who do we want to be with? How do we want our relationships to be? All right, working on that energy and not holding back, having your throat open, having that communication right? Um, not holding back any type of uh, feelings, being totally open in your feelings. We have holiday here and then hero and air. Um, holiday could be a pivotal time. Maybe something happened on the holiday since it hasn't been that long ago. Maybe you're looking forward to a holiday coming up. Maybe that's some type of um, turning point for you all maybe was a holiday even you'll have to let me know and you have hero and then you have air so air to me is you know again your I feel this winds of change because of the, the way this is presented I feel this is you know blowing in new energy um, I feel again with the hero card is it's a win-win situ situation either way for you. Um, I feel that if this doesn't go well, you've done all you can do. You know, if this does go well, you've done all you can do, right? Um, you're moving on. You're moving forward. Uh, things are coming in maybe like a breath of fresh air even with the air card. It's also knowledge and communication. Taking action. Not being idle. Again, wait and see approach. See what happens. But again, with the hero card, I feel like it's a very much a um, a win-win either way. 
because you've been open and honest. You've expressed your, your, you know, communication's been open. So, um, I find this interesting how the sacral chakra and the air card are very similar to, it's almost like a chaotic energy there which is a wind energy, again, changes. I'll read out of the book on sacral or see what it says on the sacral chakra. I turned right to it. Um, let's see. Um, stuck in your feelings, unsure of how I feel. Um, when you realize the meaning of your feelings, experience that there are tools to, less, to lessen the energetic impact that these feelings have over you. The good and the bad feelings barometer begins to be replaced. Grounding, transparency, transmutation, and the energetic flow through your system becomes your daily ally as you allow yourself to experience the wonder of feelings. No longer do you walk your journey from place of the debilitating reaction to outside energies but instead from a place of energetic mastery and that could come with that beautiful transformational energy with the butterfly and it can be for your partner as well and it can also come with you know your partner as well as you speaking your mind Maybe the holiday is a time frame. Maybe you all are giving each other to a holiday to see how things go. But either way, you'll be okay with it. And either way, the winds of change are moving forward. Actions being taken. All right, Aquarius. I thank you for watching. And um, know I put readings out mid-month for health, career, finance, and love. So if you're interested, so, um, hit the notification bell and subscribe. That way you won't miss any uh, deck unboxings or any um, future readings I do. I thank you all for being here. I really appreciate all of you, and good luck to you this month. It's a, it's a challenge, I, but I feel like you've been you've been doing this a while, especially with the transformation card. It's you're coming at the other end, but there's still some questions that you're not comfortable with. Uh, the eggshells are there. Uh, you don't know how to take this person. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe. Be blessed. Aquarius, till next month. Bye for now.